What's going on, you woofers? Space Fox here with another objective. The Ark Survival Evolved Best Single Player Settings on the Internet. Update for 2020 and beyond. Meaning unless I do another video, these settings are still valid in 2028, 2029. You get the point. The Arc Dev team rarely changes how the settings work, so that's why. These settings aim towards greatly improving the game's pacing, removing lots of the grind, and generally making it much more enjoyable for a single player or small groups of players, while also improving the game balance, but not breaking the game in any way. It's still gonna be a difficult game in general. So if you're looking for an actual easy mode, I got you covered there as well. Check out my easy mode settings video, if you're a lousy git. Ha! Also, if you are on PC slash Steam slash Epic Games version, make sure to check out my single player balance patch video as I have created a dino balance patch specifically for this game aiming to rebalance the apex alpha and boss creatures that patch works really well with these settings so make sure to check out that video now some of you might be asking how and why are these specifically the best single player settings on the internet I can answer that question for you it is because the emperor wills it the emperor's will if anyone says otherwise they are a filthy heretic Anyway, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. I will be going through all the settings that we are changing, while I also quickly explain on what they do and why we change it. If by any chance you have already been enlightened by the Emperor's wisdom, are here only for the updates, or perhaps are just one of the impatient sort of lousy gits, then here's a timestamp. Yeah, check out the timestamp, find all the settings there, and we're good to go. Now let's begin. First things first, we're gonna reset our settings. Restore to default settings icon right here. Just click it, everything will reset to default in general as well as advanced. Then click on general and here we go. I'm gonna go through everything we changed. The ones we don't change unless it's significant for the information, I'm not gonna go over those. First off, difficulty level. It starts out at 0.2. Change it to 1.0. It actually doesn't increase the game's difficulty. All it does is increase the max level of dinos. You want to have it at 1.0 at all times during regular gameplay or dinos to be able to spawn at max level, which is 120 on the island and 150 on other maps. Also, if you are using my balance patch, you can leave it at 1.0 at all times. If you are not using my balance patch, for example, if you are on console, and if you want to challenge a boss, then I advise you to leave the game right before challenging the boss, going back to this menu here, setting this to 0.05, and then challenging the boss. After the boss fight, leave the game again, change it back to 1. If you don't do this or have the balance patch, then good luck, soldier. Next up, XP Multiplier. Change this to 1.5. Throughout the last year, they have actually doubled the XP you gain in the game twice. Aiming speed. The base values also got increased. I used to put it at 20 or 16 times, but since the base was doubled twice, we can set this to 4.0 and have a really good value. If the bar doesn't go any further, go into here manually and type the number. Harvest amount. How many resources you gain from trees, bushes, and rocks and stuff. Set this to 1.5 to increase it a little bit. At 1.5, you'll get around enough wood from one tree to build one wall and have a little spare. Feels realistic, feels good, is optimal. Dino character health recovery. 2.0. Dinos, especially if they have very high health numbers, heal very, very slowly. This will make the pacing in that regard a little bit better without breaking the game. Non-dedicated host tether distance. Now, this one's only available for PC slash Steam version slash I believe Epic Game Store version i'm not sure about that one if you do have this setting manually change it to 99 this only matters if you play with friends on a non-dedicated session by setting this to 99 all players can move as far away from the host as they want to without being teleported back unless you enter caves specific load zones or the ocean on certain maps next up all these check markers enable crosshair uncheck while enabled, you have a crosshair during the gameplay. However, I advise you to uncheck it, because the game actually has iron sights and even craftable attachments for weapons so you can get a crosshair. If you enable crosshair, not only will you make it way easier for yourself, which is boring and makes you a lousy git, but also makes some obtainable equipment in the game obsolete. So uncheck this. If you don't, that is heresy. Show map player location. This one is disabled by default. Leave it that way. I'm just mentioning this because this setting is also one of those settings that make certain items in the game obsolete. If you use show map player location, you are basically removing two objects from the game. Do not do this. 
Maximum difficulty. The setting says forces the max dinosaur level to 150 regardless of map. The only map being affected by this being the island. I do check it. However, the setting is bugged. And while dinos may still not spawn at 150, arc devs, please fix. Enable PvP Gamma. Another stigma with Ark is that too many people complain about the game being too dark at night. Ha. Huh. Pathetic. Weak. Disabling this and using the Gamma cheats during gameplay is basically making multiple items obsolete, aka breaking the game. The setting description itself states, could allow unfair advantages at night. Well duh, it's cheating. Do not use. Use single player settings. Make sure this is checked. This will automatically multiply some values in general and advanced. I will not go over the exact changes. This will contribute to the better experience by a lot. Use corpse locator. Make sure this is checked. Disable structure placement collision. This setting allows you to build structures without having to worry about collision. This essentially means you could technically build structures within structures, and therefore kind of cheat the system. I personally only use the setting for more accurate structure placement. However, I advise you not to abuse it, like some pathetic heretic. Allow unlimited respecs. Enable. There is an item in game that's called Mind Wipe Tonic, which will allow you to respec your character. If this is disabled, you will only be able to do this once. And that's it for general intermission. Hope you like what you see. <laughs> oh, thank you, boobies. And now we're moving over to advanced. Also here, disable PVE gamma. Override, structure, platform, prevention, enable. Allows to build spikes and turrets on platform saddles. All the way down to world settings. Many of these settings are already slightly modified by the use single player settings check marker. So please keep in mind that these settings will not be the exact same effect if you do it on a server. Allow anyone baby imprint cuddle. Activate. Allows your friends when playing in a non-dedicated session to also cuddle and imprint on your babies. Not only limiting it to you. Lay egg interval. Keep this at 1.0. Mating interval. 0.5. Mate your dinos twice as often. Egg hatch speed. 3.0. Your fertilized eggs and pregnant creatures will poop out the babies much faster. At these settings usually taking around 20 minutes-ish. Depending on species. Baby mature speed also stays at 1.0. It's already modified by the use single player settings check marker. No need to change here. Harvest health. Set this to 2.0. Doubles the amount of health of rocks, trees, and harvestable foliage. Instead of taking one or two hits to chop a giant ass tree, it will now take you four or five hits, making it more immersive, with the additional bonus of giving you a slight bit more resources. Baby cuddle interval multiplier 0.12. Setting determines on how often you will be able to cuddle your babies for imprinting. At 0.12 plus the use single player settings will be around every 10 minutes. Taking babies anything between 20 or 60 minutes to grow out of puberty, allowing you to cuddle at least twice, depending on species. Baby Cuddle Grace Period Multiplier 10.0 ensures that if you cuddle your babies the maximum amount of possible cuddles during their growth time frame, you will always get 100% imprinting. No resource radius, players and structures. This is just a slight bug fix. Ensures that no resources will spawn inside your buildings or right in front of your face. That the players want to 4.0 and the structures want to 2.0. Crop growth speed 2.0 feels more in line with the other settings. Keep all stat multipliers at base value. Allow custom recipes. Make sure this is checked. Otherwise you won't be able to cook your favorite dish. Allow raid dino feeding, also enable. Unofficial raid dinos will die from hunger as they cannot be fed. This is to ensure that no tribe can keep them forever. However, in single player, who cares? If you manage to tame one of these beasts, you want to feed them and keep them. Supply crate loot quality and fishing loot quality. Make sure these are 2.0. And that was the advanced settings. As a bonus, I will quickly go over mods. This is 100% optional and doesn't change anything within the settings. I'm simply gonna explain the mods I use because they are visible. The only mods I use are Loot Sense, which fixes the loot crates on the island, and Arc Editions of a Collection, which is just a great mod as it adds many dinos to the game, which are all balanced and have their own unique taming mechanisms. Very fun, yes. I also personally do not recommend Structures Plus, as I think that mod is simply cheating. Being able to teleport items from several different inventories of your structures just breaks the game in my opinion, and completely breaks immersion. Same goes for other game-breaking mods like Ultra stacks. Mods like those are just for lousy gits.
And that's it. Here's the complete list of changes, excluding mods because they don't matter. And as mentioned before, these settings aim to make Ark Survival Evolved a better experience for a single player or small groups. These settings don't aim to break the game or make it super easy. Their only goal is to balance and streamline the gameplay. But if you are looking for an actual easy mode, then check out my easy mode settings video. If you are on PC slash Steam version slash Epic Store version, I believe as well, then make sure you check out my single player balance patch video, which also perfectly synergizes with the best single player settings. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like, as each like contributes to one ration of woofer snacks for the woofer army. We gotta feed these guys! Or subscribe to become member of the woofer army yourself. You can also use the join button to unlock several woofer army emoji for use on YouTube. Or check out my Patreon for additional perks. Well then, objective completed. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll be seeing you next time, and Fox out.